Hi everybody, this is Harmony with Harmony Stitches and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've been able to visit with you and uh, chat about my crafting journey. Um, but here, usually on my channel, we talk about my crafting journey that revolves around cross stitch for the most part, but then some knitting and crochet. I haven't crocheted for a while, but I have done a lot of knitting this fall and a moderate amount of cross stitch. I was doing a lot of knitting for gifts this fall. That's that's why the knitting took over a little bit. Um, so I want to give a brief life update just so that way you guys know that I wasn't ignoring you or anything. Um, in my last video, I said that part of the reason why I wasn't able to film as often as I wanted to is because personal life was interfering a little bit. Um, that personal life was my mom's health took a turn for the worse and she did end up passing away um, a couple weeks ago. So uh, I did not do hardly any crafting since. Um, the day after she passed, I did finish the dog sweater that I was making for a coworker. I just had to put on the little sleeves and I did that. And then for my secret Santa person, I did knit a little sweater ornament and that was all the crafting I did until December 23rd. Um, I <clears throat> just wasn't feeling into it. And I think for those of you that have lost um, a parent or a spouse or even a child, you'll know what I'm talking about. So we weren't horribly close or anything, but still, that's my mom. Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> so there was just things. Um, she passed away on a Tuesday and then I had to go to the funeral home. I was, I'm not gonna say in charge, but I was trying to do that part of it to alleviate some of the burden from my siblings. Um, and then we had a celebration of life party on her birthday, Sunday the 18th. And then obviously yesterday was, today is December 26th. So yesterday was Christmas. So I didn't film on Christmas either. So those were a couple of reasons why I couldn't film even after my mom passed. Plus I didn't have anything to show you because I wasn't working on anything. Um, but on December 23rd, Christmas Eve Eve, I did pick up my needle and thread and I got stitching. I am feeling a lot better now than I was then. So let me show you. Um, when the war in Ukraine started, the invasion of Ukraine, I stumbled upon a cross-stitch designer from the Ukraine and I bought a couple of her patterns. I'm not sure if I showed you. I probably do not have storage space on my phone to be able to include them, uh, the pictures in my video today, but I will just tell you that this particular one I'm working on is all words and it says, a thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices. Um, so I started on it. I always start in the bottom. I'm stitching it with not the called for thread. I'm stitching with 890 and 498, my favorite red and green combo on 14 count natural Ada. I found a tube up here and it was perfect size. So this is what I have done so far. This is just about four days worth of stitching. Cause I, like I said, I started it on the 23rd and then worked on it on the 24th, 25th, and now today the 26th. So I'm working on weary. So I have the W, the word the, and then I have to come back down here and finish the J in rejoices. And then I'll have the bottom two lines finished. I did put in a little bit of the P as a placeholder. So that way I could get the letters, make sure I had my letters in the right spot. And so that's, I'm very happy with that. I told my daughter if I could get the J done and the words, the weary world, if I could get all of that done, then I feel that I could finish this project with another four day stint of non-work days. I do have another four days coming up. However, I want to get my Lady of the Flag stitches done for the cross stitch challenge. If I can do that on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday before after work, then I can work on this and possibly have this finished um, 
the, at the end of 2022 or beginning of 2023. So an impromptu start, but I'm very pleased with the progress so far. And I'm just happy that I was able to come through that part of the grieving process to get going. So that was the only progress that I made, but I do have a little bit of not purchases, but gifts. I have one tiny purchase and then some gifts for Christmas. Um, my family blessed me with a couple of things. So it, this one is in a package and I'm not going to take it out. It's a kit from Jan Lynn. Um, it's called Joy in the Journey. And it comes with the 14 count Ada and all of the floss. And it has a beehive. And that's probably why I put it on my wish list. I'm not sure. I put it on my wish list. And so they got that, which was nice because it's a whole kit. So I don't have to kit anything up. It's ready to go. And then they got me Sleepy Hollow Lodge by Little House. And this one was on my wish list because I think, I do think that it's cute, but my husband liked it because it was Sleepy Hollow. And I do like this house. I don't know if you can see it if I'm close enough, but it kind of looks like a log cabin house. And it should because it says established 1790. So I got that chart. This one does not have any fabric or floss, but I was looking at the, um, of course, because it's a little house, they use all classic color works, but I was looking at the DMC conversion. And I think I may have quite a few of these, if not all of them. I don't know all of them, but I know that I have 898. I know I have 921 and I'm pretty sure I have 30, 22 and 30, 11. So I'm going to see if I can have enough to at least get a start on it. And that's, that's a good thing to note. Just because you want to start something doesn't mean that you need all of the flosses. Check the area that you would normally start. Do you start in the upper left? Do you start in the middle? Do you like? Are you like me? You like to start in the bottom right-hand corner. And I know a lot of people think that I'm odd that way. But I do like to start in the bottom right. So check the color flosses that you would need. Think about how long you'll be stitching on it before you switch to a new project and get those flosses. You don't need to get all of them, but get the ones that you need to at least get a start. And then you can always worry about filling in the other colors as you come along. Okay, so the next thing that they got me was an 18 by 21 cut of 18 count sand Ada. And they had no idea why I put this on my wish list, but I did put this on my wish list for all of those Super Mario Brothers 3 um Mario 3 um charts that I got from Etsy and so I was looking today to see what chart I was supposed like what I had in mind for this and I'm not sure just yet um I'm not even sure if I want to do another Mario chart but I would be willing to since they did buy me the fabric and they really like them and they they would appreciate more my husband has been he asked me a couple of times like did you ever finish that Mario chart of course I didn't. There's tens of thousands of stitches in there. Of course I didn't finish it. But um, I think that's a hint for, can you work on that? So we'll see. Okay, the next thing I opened was Patty Lyons Knitting Bag of Tricks. And this says it's over 70 sanity saving hacks for better knitting. I saw her promoting this book and a couple of the hacks that she calls for in here, you know, that she added in here. And I was like, I need to add that to my wish list because I want better knitting. I want to have a more clean look. And I can't tell you what's in here. Obviously, you're going to have to buy it or try see if your local library has it yet. Um, but I am very excited to read this. And I'm going to carry this around with me. So every time that I have a couple of minutes, I'm going to read this and see about just filling my toolbox with all of these tools and skills so that way my knitting can be just more polished and pretty. Um, so looking forward to that. The next thing is um, from the films of Harry Potter Knitting Magic. And this, I think this is book one. I do believe that they have a second book and then they also have Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but they have three of these books all together and they're by Tannis Gray. I can't remember what the one book is and I don't want that one so much as book one and book two. I wanted book one more so than the other one just because the um, the second book has a lot of um, 
like like these things, you know, like stuffies, like animals and things. And I'm not into that. But if you can see here, the Time Turner sweater is fabulous, is fabulous. And I want that. But the mittens are really great. The scarves are, I think the second book has a lot of scarves too. This one has some socks and all kinds of things in here. And the inspiration was directly pulled from the movies. So my husband got this for me at Barnes & Noble, but I think that you can really get this anywhere that um, sells knitting books. You can even check your local shop to see if they have it. It's called Harry Potter Knitting Magic. And then they have a second one, and then there's that third one, but I can't remember the name of it. Okay, so the last thing that they, well, the last crafty purchase um, that they got me was a K's Creation lap stand. So I'm super excited about this. I put it all together. I learned how to use it. My husband helped me and I'm super excited. So then my daughter wanted, today my daughter wanted to go to Barnes & Noble. She's really into vinyl records and she said that Barnes & Noble has an exclusive or semi-exclusive or something or other vinyl record. Um, and so she, she said that she knew that they had one copy and was hoping it was still there. It was not still there. But while we were out, we went to Joanne's so I could use a gift card that my secret Santa got me. And so I said, let's go see if they have any fabric. So I got 14 count Navy Ada. It just comes in the roll, Charles Craft DMC Ada. And then I checked out and we were getting ready to walk out the door and I'm like, oh my gosh, I use cash instead of my gift card. So what that means is if I can still use my coupon, I can go back tomorrow after work and get another one and it will be 40% off and I can use my gift card and I'll have two. And the reason why I got the Navy is if you remember, I don't know how long ago I picked up a book from the library by Erin Congdon. I think that's her name and <clears throat> cross stitch for life or something rather. I don't know. If I have room in my storage, I will put it here, Other, but I will put it down below. But there are several of the charts in there that were stitched on navy, and I didn't have any navy, and I figured since I had a gift card, I would go ahead and get some because I wanted to stitch those charts. Well, I accidentally used my cash, so I'll have two pieces, but I think there's two charts in there that I would like to do that are both on navy, and I don't mind stitching on dark fabric, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and use the called for fabric. Okay, last thing that I have to talk about is this, the Monopoly board. I was able to get my hands on this for a very reasonable price, and I'm super excited about it. <clears throat> um, this is very old. It's from 1984, and it came out for, I think, the 20th anniversary um, hmm. it says in here somewhere, 50th, 50th anniversary in 1985. So this came out the year before the 50th anniversary in celebration. So you could stitch it up and be ready. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so, okay. So then I went through my stash and if you know the Monopoly board, you know, there's only two or three um, properties with each color. So I know that I don't need a, in this particular chart there. There's the border that goes around all the way around. It's just a, two, a border. Um, it's stitched in like a pinky red, but then the in, in the inside, it calls for a light blue and it says, use whatever color you want. My daughter's thought was that that border is supposed to represent the um you know how on the back of the board it has that paper and then it folds over the edge she said that she thinks that border is supposed to represent that paper edge from folding over to, to um line the board so but that i don't know you could probably have any color in the world and it would be fine and nobody's going to say anything i'm going to stitch my border in black 
because it will just be more cohesive with the borders on the properties and I have a cone of black. So I don't have to worry about that particular color is easy to pick out. I cut off 20 lengths already and I'm good to go. But then I found some 666, some 444, 600, 995, 550, and some Blanc. I have all but six colors already. And like I was saying earlier, um, about the getting what you need to get started. Really all I need to get started is the black because I could just go around and do all of the outlines and then you fill in later. Well, I have the colors that I need to complete the go. Um, Mediterranean, Baltic, Community Chest, Reading Railroad. And those are all the first one, two, three, four. Oh, and income tax, five, six. I have all of the colors that I need to do the first six squares for six property or the go and then the five properties coming up. Um, but then if I stitch the other way and going the other way, um, you know, what? I don't think that I have that color going the opposite way. Um, what are they called? It is kind of hard because the chart is really small and it is really old. Um, so I'm trying to be very careful. 517 is Boardwalk and Park Place. I do not have 517. But like I said, if I wanted to go up that way, since I do like to start from the bottom right, I can just use my black and stitch all of the borders. And then when I get the colors, I get the colors. Um, I'm not that worried about it. So this is enough to get started. And I'm super excited. Oh, I've also got 922 in there, which is the orange color to go around um, the jail. That's what that color's for. That is all that I have to share with my purchases and my gifts and my life update and my projects for this video. Um, I do plan, if I have enough energy, um, that's another thing about grieving. I feel like I have no energy and no motivation to do anything. Um, but if... I am feeling well enough and I have enough energy. I do plan to do a cross stitch whip um, parade. And that will be posted, well, after, after I um, mm -hmm, film it. And I'm thinking maybe I could film it on Friday and have it posted for you all on Saturday. And then I would film again on Monday to give you an update on this project and anything else that I happen to work on. Um, like if I get my lady in the flag going and stuff. So, but I plan to do that. I'm not going to do a knitting or a crochet whip parade because I only have one crochet whip. And if you want to see that, you can go look at my very beginning videos where I showed you everything that I had. And it is the temperature blanket. I have not touched it. And I don't even know how long. I think probably since 2019. Maybe beginning of 2020, I've touched it. But it was before I started filming videos. I have not touched it in forever. I do plan on getting back to it. It's just, yeah. I have like 200 more diamonds to go. Um, Let's see. And then the knitting, I have, I have the big comfy sweater that needs to be mattress stitched up. I have the flag scarf that needs the ends woven. And then I have the colorwork sweater that needs to be fixed. And then I have the zip line that only has the bottom ribbing. So right there, I just told you all of the knitting whips that I have. I don't have anything else. Um, everything else that I started or had is completely done. So I have two that need finishing, like the finishing touches. And then I have two that just need to be worked on. So I will just be showing cross stitch whips in the parade. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, plan is to get back to it. I don't know, like I said in the last video that I was able to post, I don't know if it's going to be weekly or monthly. Um, I know I'm running out of space on my phone. I'm probably way over the amount of time that I have for this video. It's probably going to be a fight. So you will see it as soon as I can get done fighting with technology and get it up for you. Um, I hope that you saw something to inspire you from all of the things that I was able to show you today. Um, to pick up maybe a languishing whip or to try something new because I'm excited. 
um, about the prospects of all of these new things. I will also, oops, sorry, I will also do a video um, going over my WIPGO plans. Um, but I hope that you try something new this year coming up in 2023. Um, maybe you'll want to up your knitting game by learning some tricks and not necessarily promoting the book, but learning is how we get better. Um, so until next Sunday, bye.